What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we all know with Maze of Memories, Hero got some insane support with the brand new Wake Up Your Elemental Hero Yu-Gi-Oh card and this card is absolutely insane in the deck and it just makes so many combos possible and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys combos that you need to know to be successful with Hero in today's format with the brand new Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. Now if you guys are just as excited as I am make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays we do all kinds of different things we upload a full 10 videos a week five long videos five short videos monday through friday you guys are going to get a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoy we're on the road to 10,000. let's make it happen i believe in the spanko squad so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that let's get right into some combos Okay, so Wake Up Your Elemental Hero is now released in the TCG and it gives Hero an insane one card combo. And the only one card you need is a Hero Lives. If you open this card and it resolves, you are ending on an insanely powerful board. And again, this is all off a singular card. So with that being said, let's get right into the combo here. You're gonna start off, of course, by activating a Hero Lives and this is going to be able to summon the Stratos from your deck. Now I will say this, this combo can't be done by opening Stratos because you will need your normal summon later. So if you're normal summoning your Stratos now, you don't have that normal summon, and then it requires a second card. However, if you do have Stratos, all you'd need is a Stratos plus any other monster, and you can do a similar combo, if not the exact same combo with this, all right? And I'll show you guys that in today's combo video as well. But for the one card combo, it's just a hero lives. You're gonna summon the Stratos, and of course, you're gonna activate the Stratos effect, and here you're gonna wanna add your vision hero Ferris. Now, the reason you're gonna wanna add a Ferris here, even though you don't have another monster to use for its effect, you can still normal summon your Ferris, and that's why specifically you need a hero lives, because you need to use your normal summon at this point in the combo. So you're going to normal summon your Ferris and you're going to activate the Ferris effect. A lot of people forget that Ferris is on normal or special summon, so you're still going to get the Ferris effect here and you're going to attach the increase. From here on, the hero combos pretty much is the same as your typical hero combos up until a certain point of the combo where it starts to change up. And I'll tell you guys when we get there, but essentially here we're doing this typical hero combos where you go increase, increase will summon your Vion, and then Vion is going to be able to dump a monster. The monster you want to dump off of your Vion is going to be your Destiny Hero Malicious, all right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to activate the Vion effect. You never want to forget that effect because you need the polymerization for this combo. So you're going to banish your Ferris and you're going to get to add a polymerization. So you're going to go Cross Crusader here with these two and then you're going to be able to use a Cross Crusader effect to summon back the Malicious from your graveyard. So you're going to summon this back and then you're going to activate its effect, destroy the Malicious here, and then you're going to be able to search your Denier from your deck to your hand, okay? So at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to activate the Malicious so that you can summon another Malicious from your deck and we're going to be able to summon that. Then we're going to activate the polymerization here here, and this is very important that you activate the poly because this is how you're going to get to DPE. You're going to use a malicious that's on your side of the field as well as a denier here, and you're going to be able to summon DPE. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually activate the denier effect so we can put back the malicious that's in our banish zone into our deck, right? And that's going to be really important. So you're going to activate this effect put it back into your deck. And then once the malicious is back in your deck, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the cross guy and the denier here to go into a wonder driver. Now, something I feel like a lot of people forget is that wonder driver only needs a hero monster to be special summoned or normal summoned to its zone. It doesn't have to be a fusion monster. Typically people summon sunrise under it and then you get the sunrise effect plus the wonder driver effect. But anytime a hero is summoned under it, you're safe to go. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna actually activate the malicious that's in your graveyard to summon another malicious into the wonder driver zone here and you're going to be able to activate the wonder driver effect to set your polymerization so what you're going to do now is you're going to actually activate the polymerization again and what you're going to do is you're going to summon sunrise using your wonder driver which is a light and you're going to use the malicious which is a dark to summon your sunrise now sunrise is obviously going to get the trigger here to search a miracle fusion from your deck to your hand and again this is kind of where the combo switches up because now we're going to make use of a powerful powerful card in wake up your elemental hero we're going to use the miracle fusion here so we're going to summon a wake up elemental hero by using the sunrise and then we can use any hero monster from our graveyard. Let's just use uh, Wonder Driver. It doesn't really matter what you use here. So you're going to use those two to summon your Wake Up the Elemental Hero. Now that this is on your side of the field, it has an insanely powerful effect. Essentially, if it's destroyed, you can special summon a warrior monster from your hand or your deck. So how are you going to destroy it? You're going to use the DPE to pop the Wake Up as well as the DPE. You're going to get to pop both here. And then Wake Up is going to get the trigger so that you can summon a monster from your deck. We're also going to want to trigger our DPE here so we can get it back on our standby phase. And then we're going to summon our Stratos to our side of the field, all right? And we're going to activate the Stratos effect because it was summoned to search a mass change. Do you guys kind of see where this combo is going? It's, it's absolutely insane. So what you're going to do here is you're going to actually just set the mass change and you're going to be able to end your turn. So now on your opponent's standby phase, what you're going to get to do is you're going to be able to activate your DPE 
so that you can summon itself back onto your side of the field. And then you're also going to be able on your opponent's turn to use this mass change. Well, because I don't have an opponent right now, I actually can't activate it. But what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to use the mass change to make the Shadow Mist into a Dark Law. And then once you make the Shadow Mist into a Dark Law, because Shadow Mist has now been sent to the graveyard, you're gonna actually get to use its effect to search a hero monster from your deck to your hand. And now at this point, you can search something like Honest Neos to protect your monsters by battle. So now you have the DPE protection, you have a Dark Law on your side of the field, and you're gonna get to have an Honest Neos in your hand, which is insane. If you already have an Honest Neos, you can just search follow up for your next turn. So off of a singular card, you're setting up DPE plus a Dark Law plus a search just off of a single hero lives. That's the power of Wake Up Your Element. Mental hero. So for our next combo here, it's a two card combo. It requires Stratos and any other hero monster in your hand. Now imagine this card was malicious, it'd be even better, but I'm literally gonna use a brick to show you guys that it's kind of like a 1.5 card combo here rather than a two card combo because any other hero monster in your hand is actually gonna be able to get you through this combo, all right? So we're gonna use our brick and increase, but again, imagine this was malicious, it'd be even stronger, right? But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to summon our Stratos here. And I'm gonna activate the Stratos effect, of course, to search a hero monster from your deck to your hand. The one you're gonna search, of course, here is going to be your Ferris. And then you're gonna go ahead and trigger your Ferris to summon itself by pitching this hero monster that's in your hand. Again, it does not matter what the hero monster is. You're just gonna wanna pitch any monster. Use the Ferris effect here to summon an increase from your deck. Now, keep in mind, I like to play two increase. If you're playing one increase, then you definitely don't want it to be increased, but you know how the combo works, all right? So here we're gonna be able to activate our increase effect to destroy our Ferris and then summon it to our side of the field. Of course, this is gonna now get us into a Vision Hero Vion, which is absolutely insane. And Vion here, instead of sending a Malicious, which you're actually gonna to wanna to send here, is your Shadow Mist. So we're gonna send the Shadow Mist and we're gonna activate the Shadow Mist effect so that now we can search a Malicious to our hand. And you guys might be wondering, why would you ever wanna search Malicious? You guys are gonna see why in just a second here, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna activate the Vion at this point to banish the Ferris that's in your graveyard so that you can search a Polymerization. That's always gonna be important in any combo that you do here. And then you're gonna use the Poly here to use your Malicious as well as your Stratos to go into a Sunrise, all right? So now you have Sunrise on your side of the field and you're gonna be able to activate it to effect to search a Miracle Fusion. Now you're gonna continue here with your typical Cross Crusader plays. You're gonna use these two, activate the Cross Crusader effect, and then Cross Crusader is going to be able to summon a Malicious onto your side of the field. And then you're gonna activate its effect to pop the Malicious, of course. And now you're gonna be able to search your denier. But now things are gonna get a little bit different. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use the Cross Crusader as well as the Sunrise on your side of the field because you no longer need the Sunrise to make a Wonder Driver. I know this combo sounds weird and it looks a little bit weird right now, but trust me, it's all gonna make a lot of sense. Use the Mali effect to summon a Mali from your deck and then you're gonna be able to activate the Wonder Driver, get the Polymerization back. Wonder Driver is insane for this, for just this reason right here. It's just absolutely insane because now that you have Polymerization live again, you can activate it to make your DPE using the Malicious as well as the denier that's in your hand. So we're going to be able to summon our DPE at this point. And then here, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to activate your Miracle Fusion so that you can summon your Wake Up the Elemental Hero using the Sunrise that's in your graveyard, as well as any other hero monster that's in your graveyard. At this point, it doesn't really matter what you use with the Sunrise. So let's just use uh, the Cross Crusader that's in our graveyard. It really doesn't matter at this point. You just really need to be able to summon your Wake Up the Elemental Hero, right? So now that Wake Up your Elemental Hero is on the field, you can do a very similar thing where you're activating the DPE so that you can pop the wake up your elemental hero as well as the DPE. You're going to be getting it back on your turn anyways. And this way you're going to be able to activate both effects. So you're going to be able to activate the DPE here and then you're going to be able to summon a monster from your deck. Now at this point we've already used Shadow Mist. So what are we going to do instead is we're going to summon our Stratos. Keep in mind Stratos is not a once per turn effect. So you're going to be able to activate the Stratos and then what you're going to be able to do is search a card that's an absolutely insane. Something that a lot of people forgot about but it's so powerful in today's format and that is Destiny Hero Plus. Plasma. Destiny Hero Plasma is insane into so many different formats, but in today's format specifically, if you're putting this up against a Kosh Terra player or against any player really, this card is absolutely detrimental. So now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to activate the Denier. And then now that you activate the Denier, you're going to be able to summon it back. And then you're going to use its effect to put back the Malicious that's in your Banish Zone on top of your deck. And then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to activate that Malicious so that you can summon back the other Malicious 
and then you're going to be able to summon your destiny hero plasma so now that we can have three monsters here we can tribute this this and this to summon a plasma now if you think about it we could have kept the malicious for our next turn tributed over our wonder driver but i do like having the wonder driver here because you guys are going to see that on your end phase and it comes back to your opponent's standby phase now what ends up happening is you're going to be able to summon back the dpe into the wonder driver zone because keep in mind we could have used the wonder driver but because we have the wonder driver here we can summon back the dpe and trigger its effect again to either set up poly or a miracle fusion in this case i'm going to want to set a miracle fusion for follow-up for next turn so this is your end board here you have a plasma you have a dpe and you have a miracle fusion for follow-up for next turn but again either you do it this way or you do it with the wonder driver and you keep the malicious in the graveyard doesn't really matter so lastly, I want to show you guys this absolutely insane two card combo. It's Stratos as well as Ferris. If you open these two, keep in mind, it could also be like reinforcements of the army because it's going to be able to search the missing piece. So if you have a Ferris plus a Rota, you can get to a Stratos and that's essentially the same exact combo. So as long as you have a Ferris plus any way to get to Stratos, you're in a very, very powerful position because this combo right here is going to be able to end on an insanely powerful board. So what you're going to do here is you're going to normal summon your Stratos. It's going to look pretty typical, but because you have the Ferris already in your hand, now you can can search the malicious which is absolutely insane because ferris pitching malicious is obviously so powerful so we're going to be able to search the malicious here and then what we're going to do is we're going to activate the ferris now all these combos are very similar in the way they start it's just kind of where you want to end the board kind of differs right so here we're going to be able to summon the ferris activate its effect put the increase back on your side of the field and then you're going to be able to use the increase effect over here to destroy the ferris summon itself summon a vion this is all pretty standard hero stuff at this point i know i'm showing it to you guys over and over but this part is obviously Obviously very standard you're also going to be using the Vion here but because you already have malicious in the graveyard you can actually just go ahead and dump your destiny hero denier right away you don't need to send the malicious anymore because you have the malicious already in your graveyard so this is really nice and then you're going to be able to use the Vion effect banish the ferris to search a polymerization now at this point you guys are going to see that you need the extra body so what you're going to do is you're going to use the malicious here so that you can summon another malicious and then you're going to be able to use the malicious as well as your stratos over here so that you can make your sunrise now sunrise is going to be able to search your miracle fusion of course which is always really going to be powerful so we're going to search the miracle fusion here and then you're actually funny enough going to use the sunrise as well as the vion or the sunrise as well as the increase it doesn't really matter which one you use let's just use the vion here we're going to use these two so that we we can summon our cross guy all right so we're going to summon our cross guy here we're going to be able to activate the cross guy effect and then that's going to be able to let us summon a destiny hero monster from our graveyard at this point we're actually going to want to summon a denier because keep in mind you can only use its special summon effect once per duel but in this case you're not actually special summoning it using its own effect you're using the cross crusader effect right so because you're being able to use the cross crusader effect you're still going to get to use this to put back the malicious that's banished but you're not actually going to be using its own effect now what you're going to want to do is you're going to activate the cross crusader to pop the denier and then you're going to be able to search a card that a lot of people are not going to be expecting and that is your dark angel because dark angel puts a monster on the field against Koshtar, which is absolutely insane it makes it so that they can't activate any spell cards and against a lot of different decks that's absolutely powerful so this combo is also going to be able to let you set up a dark angel now at this point we're going to use the cross crusader as well as the increase on our side of the field again it could be any other monster it could be vion doesn't really matter what you use but you're going to use the cross crusader as well as the other monster that you have for your wonder driver and and then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to use that malicious that's in your graveyard because we got to put back the other malicious to summon the other malicious to your side of the field and you're going to get to activate the wonder driver to of course search a polymerization which is absolutely crazy here because oh i might have said search i meant put back you're going to be able to reset the polymerization not search a polymerization you're going to be able to reset the polymerization and now because you haven't used your denier effect that i was talking about earlier that was so important like being able to set up a denier so that you can summon it again you can actually use the denier effect now to summon Summon itself to the side of the field and then we have a denier as well as a malicious which means we now have access to dpe using the polymerization from our field right so we're going to summon the dpe using the mali using the denier and boom we now have a dpe on our side of the field now what we're going to do because we have the miracle fusion is similar to what we did in our last combo to summon wake up your elemental hero we're going to use the sunrise that's in our graveyard so here we're going to use a sunrise as well as any other hero monster we're going to just use just i don't know cross crusader from our graveyard it doesn't really matter at this point we're going to summon anyone we're going to get to summon our wake up your elemental hero and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to use the dpe effect to pop itself 
as well as the wake up. Now, why are you popping itself? You guys are going to see why in just a second here, but it's so important because you have the dark angel in hand. So I feel like you guys already know what's happening here, but I'm just going to show you guys here. Of course, with wake up your elemental hero, you're going to be able to summon your shadow mist. Shadow mist is going to be able to trigger so that you can set or search a mask change, I should say. So let's just set the mask change here. And then what you're going to be able to do is let's take a quick look at our graveyard. We have one destiny hero, two destiny hero, three destiny hero in our graveyard, which means we can now activate the dark angel effect and we're going to be able to special summon a dark angel to our opponent's side of the field. So now essentially we're locking them out of spell cards and if it's against a cost to player, we're locking them out of being able to special summon a cost to monster for free. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and end your turn and then on your opponent's standby phase, what you're going to be able to do is you are going to be able to, you know, resolve your DPE effects. You're going to summon your DPE back to your side of the field. In this case, you can of course summon it to your wonder driver zone so that you can trigger your wonder driver, set back a miracle fusion for later. So we're going to be able to set that. And then what we're going to be able to do as well, like let's say your opponent wants to change this to attack position and they want to enter battle phase or whatever, just to get rid of the dark angel, you can use this, you know, shadow mist, and then you're going to be able to make a dark law over here. So now you're setting up dark law and then you're going to be able to use the shadow mist effect to now want, if you want to search like, a, 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 you know, you can search whatever you want. You can search a liquid soldier for your next turn. You can search anything really here that you want to search. So let's just search a liquid soldier here so that we have follow up for next turn. Again, it doesn't matter. It could be honest Neos. I wasn't even paying attention, but it could be honest Neos as well, but you're getting to search a hero card, right? So now you're setting up dark law plus your DPE. You're setting up a dark angel in which now they have to lose their battle phase to get rid of it. Um, to be honest with you, what I would do is if they summon another monster, if something is on their side of the field, you can dpe pop the wonder driver pop the other card so this way if you summon your dark law in defense position they actually can't crash the dark law in this case they can crash the dark law but i'm just showing you guys different options because if you summon it in defense then they can't crash the dark law but yeah that's that's the combo it's insane and this is all off just one to two card combos so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy i know it was kind of a longer video but i really wanted to show you all the really cool combos that hero can do and now before anyone says it i know nibiru is a thing i understand nibiru is a thing but sometimes you just gotta hope that you don't lose to a Nibiru. And honestly, I'm playing the deck right now with Crossouts and Nibiru in the main deck so that you don't lose to Nibiru. So maybe that's another option for you because again, all these combos are one 1 1.5 or two card combos. So if you open a Crossout, you know you're safe from Nibiru. So I don't know, just a suggestion. But if you guys did enjoy these combos, if you guys learned something new, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel, but we do a full 10 videos per week. Five long videos, five short videos. You guys are gonna get a little bit of everything. So thank you guys all for watching. I really do appreciate everything single one of you and with that thank you sign it out peace